I'm Laura Dooley. And I'm Emily Cobbling. And this is Sports Brunch. So it's finally here, week one of the season. And this is when it starts to get fun because what we can do is just really work on helping you get your lineup set. So Maura, what are some techniques that you use to figure out who to start and who to sit each week? Well, you saw from Thursday's game that uh, there can be some kind of rough starts to the year that look a little more like preseason than a regular game. So one of the things that I go to as kind of a fallback that helps differentiate if you're in a tough spot trying to decide is guys that are at home. Oh, yeah. it, it tends to That's be. That's a great call. Yeah, definitely. Tends, tends to help you maybe at least a few points one way or the other mm -hmm. have an advantage. So um, my starts for this week based on that are all guys at home. Uh, I have Dak Prescott. Um, the Cowboys are playing the Giants at home. Ezekiel Elliott finally signed his deal. He's going to be there, so that should definitely help. They're playing a Giants defense who is not expected to be good. They lost uh, Olivier Vernon and Landon Collins in the offseason. They already weren't great. Yeah. So I like that matchup. Uh, my next one is Chris Carson for the Seahawks. Um, they were the leading uh, rushing yardage team last year, and they're playing the team that gave up the second most yards to running backs in the Bengals, and they are also at home. Um, next, I have Chris Godwin for the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, he's playing at home uh, against the San Francisco 49ers. Um, I think Bruce Arians is gonna get Jameis Winston a little more on track, hopefully throwing more to guys on his team unless the guys on the opponent's team. <laughs> probably a good call, probably. <laughs> so Chris Godwin is a good slot receiver and uh, the 49ers gave up the most touchdowns to receivers last year. So I like his odds this weekend as well. So who are the people that you're planning on sitting this week? So the Chiefs are playing Jacksonville away. I'm gonna continue mm -hmm. that trend of <laughs> not liking playing a good defense away for the Chiefs running backs. Mm -hmm. And I know that normally they are kind of a team where you can plug in whatever running back. Once someone gets hurt, the next guy up, they're all really good. I liked Damian Williams last year mm -hmm. when he ended up coming in for them. But if you have him, I would sit him this week. They, they picked up LaShawn McCoy at the trade deadline. We're not sure how the, the carries are going to work out. And I just don't like the matchup. So why don't you go ahead and wait on that one if you've got other options or maybe at least move either McCoy or Williams down to a flex this week. Next, I have uh, Devin Singletary. I'm going to stick with the running backs. Uh, he is the rookie running back for the Bills. He's the reason they cut LaShawn McCoy because they like him. He should be drafted in all leagues. But I think that they are going to start out with Frank Gore getting more of the carries and kind of ease him in. And they are on the road in a divisional game with the Jets. So I don't like that much either. <laughs> uh, I would go ahead and also sit Devin Singletary. And then lastly, I guess it's all running back <laughs> this week. We and we advise you not to sit or not to play Aaron Jones either. And yeah, that, that one yeah. was that one was it worked out because <laughs> I, ac I accidentally forgot in a league and he got he got me four points. Um, but so we're gonna go with Joe Mixon again. Tough matchup against the Seahawks and they don't have a very good offensive line in Cincinnati and they're in that loud stadium at CenturyLink. I think he's gonna have a good season, but don't start him this week. Great, thanks, Laura. Yeah. So another thing that you do kind of have to keep an eye on for, even this early in the season, is injury reports. And you'll start seeing your players have Q's or D's or O's next to their names. And basically that has to do with if they are going to possibly play this week or not. Q, questionable. D, doubtful. O, definitely out. Sit them. But this week uh, in my league, I actually have two wide receivers, Alshon Jeffrey of the Eagles and DK Metcalf of the Seahawks. Both were listed as questionable earlier this week. Uh, DK Metcalf had a minor knee surgery earlier in the preseason that he's still recovering from, and Alshon Jeffrey had a bicep injury that he sustained in practice earlier this week. My plan right now is to start Alshon Jeffrey and sit DK Metcalf. I think that's a good call. He, you know, I, I think he's going to play. They, they yeah. said that, yeah. but he's a rookie. You really don't know how they're going to use him. And I think they're going to try to slowly incorporate him mm -hmm. with that speed that he has. He could break downfield for a big catch, Absolutely. but probably not worth the start at this point. Coaches are probably thinking they don't want to have him sustain an injury that's going to be worse. So yeah. it's easier to be a little cautious with him starting out. All right. That's it for today. Obviously we can only cover so many guys in these uh, short videos, a short amount of time that we have with you but please always feel free to tweet at us and send us your questions we are at sports brunch or you can leave comments on the sportsbrunch.com website we would love to help you with your fantasy team good luck good luck this week